The Serengeti is a land of extremes, home to large and dangerous animals, it's surprising that any animal can survive. Yet the Serengeti contains the most iconic wildlife in the world, all of which thrive in this unforgiving landscape. So how do they do it? How do these beasts survive in such a deadly environment? Everyone knows the dangerous animals of the Serengeti. Popularized through tales of adventure and movies such as The Lion King, the Serengeti is a part of every childhood. Yet the true danger of these animals is never understood, and the Serengeti's power is barely comprehended. The power of the Serengeti starts from the top. The mighty lion rules over the Serengeti, a threat to nearly every animal. Zebra, wildebeest, rodents, and reptiles alike know the danger these animals possess. Even other top predators like hyenas and leopards know to tread lightly when the lion is around. The lion is second to none, yet is its own worst enemy. These animals are highly territorial, and prides are constantly at risk of attack. The males fight for the group, risking their lives for territory that spans generations and in some cases nearly a hundred miles. The females of the group are the hunters and strike fear in every animal once they are seen. Lions are ambush predators and stalk their prey, waiting for the right moment to attack. Once they do attack, the prey either immediately falls or takes flight, to which one in three don't make it. The prey is shared between the lion family, starting with the males all the way down to the cubs. The cubs may look helpless compared to other animals, but once fully grown, are capable of running kingdoms of their own. These lion dynasties will inevitably fall. Males age and younger ones leave, creating vulnerability for attack. When a pride falls to such an attack, the males are the first to go, signaling the start of a new, tyrannical era. Cubs are at the most risk from the new males, as these new rulers don't want to care for another's children, taking matters into their own hands. This is why only 1 in 8 cubs make it to adulthood, the dark side of the circle of life. The lions may live in their own world of kingdoms and conquest, yet there are some beasts they cannot touch. The elephant is one such animal, a creature of its own will. No predator wants to mess with an 11 foot 4 ton barreling two tusk animal. This freedom achieved through immense size allows the elephants to play a different, perhaps less deadly game. Elephants live in decent sized groups, roaming the grasses of the Serengeti and disappearing into the brush. Elephants are very smart with intelligence comparable to that of humans. While elephants are incapable of the most incredible human feats, they share similar emotions to humans, forming bonds within groups that can last up to 50 years. While mainly keeping to themselves, elephants are also some of the few animals to dare the human world. While normally subsisting on the natural vegetation of the Serengeti, a midnight crop raid isn't out of the question. These raids, however, are very dangerous, both for the elephants and humans. While humans are the only threat to an adult elephant, baby elephants do have to watch out for top-of-the-line predators, which will occasionally prey on the weakest of the bunch. Similar to the elephant, the giraffes are another enormous beast that seem to write their own rules on the Serengeti. While predators pose more of a threat, the giraffe's six feet long legs are enough to hold back any would-be attackers. One kick from a giraffe and any animal is lucky to be alive. This is why even the mighty lion has to wait for the giraffe to sit in a vulnerable position before even thinking about making a move. Despite having this powerful tool and incredible height, Giraffes have evolved to be extremely resilient to predators. Giraffes stay in groups of 10 to 20 to disguise themselves. They also limit their vulnerability by only sleeping 5 to 30 minutes per day and going long periods of time without drinking. Giraffes also post a constant watch for predators, a final trick to ensure their survival. Giraffes are also adapted to evade the ever-present competition on the Serengeti. Sporting an ultra-thick, long tongue, giraffes are able to reach leaves too high and too spiky for other animals, helping them develop a world of their own. But it isn't just the adult giraffes that are skilled at survival. Baby giraffes are given a Serengeti welcome when they drop three feet after being born. This does little to affect these giants, and it only takes them an hour after being born to stand on their own. However, the dangers of the Serengeti are always present and only half of these calves will survive. One of such dangers is the leopard. Seldomly seen, these animals are some of the most elusive and most dangerous on the Serengeti. These cats make use of their camouflage and smaller size to find a meal in a land dominated by predators. While lions are ambush predators in their own right, the leopard is much more deliberate and tactical. Only seen individually or with a mate, the leopard makes much less of a stir. The leopard's stealth is what makes them so deadly, allowing them to feast on whatever they choose. Warthogs, zebras, rats, and even baby giraffes giraffes could be on the menu. 
The leopard's agility also gives them a leg up, jumping nearly 10 feet high and 20 feet across. Almost nothing is out of the leopard's reach. This, combined with the leopard's skill with climbing trees, makes them feared by almost everything on the Serengeti. However, the leopard still can't match the lion in speed nor hunting success. Only one other animal can dominate both realms, the cheetah. One of the most well-known animals on earth, the cheetah is known and built for speed. The cheetah tops out at around 75 miles per hour, allowing it to hunt with startling efficiency. Half of a cheetah's hunts are successful, and its prey fearfully knows this. Cheetah prey will actually slow down during a chase, allowing it to outlast and outmaneuver what it can't outrun. However, the brutality of the Serengeti doesn't guarantee that the cheetah will get its meal. Even if a cheetah catches its prey, there's no guarantee it won't get stolen. A lion king may come to collect its tax from the exhausted cheetah, or a hyena clan might roll in looking for an easy meal. No matter what the case is, a stolen meal isn't the worst of a cheetah's worries. Other predators prey on the cheetah, and while most cheetahs have unrivaled speed, this isn't true of cheetah cubs. The cubs are forced to stay within their burrow while their mother hunts, yet the strategy is barely enough to get by on the Serengeti. 90% of cheetah cubs won't make it to adulthood. However, those few lucky cubs who do make it receive an extra boost. Adult males form coalitions with one another, allowing them to defend against the Serengeti more effectively. Like the multi multitude of other cats, these coalitions defend their territory not only from predators but also from one another. Similar to the cat species of the Serengeti, the rhino is highly territorial. Weighing 3 tons and reaching nearly 30 miles an hour, the rhino is an untamed beast. Easily startled due to poor eyesight, the rhino is not to be messed with. Understandably, the only animal that dares to try and kill a rhino is the lion. However, those lions who dare to hunt a rhino are playing a deadly game, making them few and far between. Despite their violent potential, the rhino eats a relatively tame diet. Instead of using its horns to attack prey, the rhino uses it to dig up plants and create watering holes. The rhino is one of only nine mega herbivores on the planet, eating a diet that consists solely of plants. Contrary to its nature, the normally aggressive rhino does collaborate with one other animal, the oxpecker. The oxpecker is a small gray bird with yellow eyes. The bird acts as a watch for the poorly sighted rhino, a helpful tool on the Serengeti. The bird also rids the rhino of parasites. In exchange, the bird receives an easy insect meal. The oxpecker isn't the only bird that thrives in the Serengeti. The world's largest bird, the ostrich, also thrives in this unforgiving landscape. While not being able to fly, the ostrich can run up to 40 miles per hour enough to escape many would-be predators. The ostrich is a very unique bird. It lives in social groups of 10 to 100. This isn't entirely strange for a bird species, but ostriches also lay eggs in a communal nest, with only one female and one male caring for the eggs. This strange system doesn't fare better on the Serengeti than anything other animals can come up with. Only 10% of nests even make it to hatching, not even including the Serengeti's toll on eggs that actually hatch. Despite their obvious flaws in rearing young, the ostriches do have a strategy for challenging others on the Serengeti. Ostriches are equipped with 4-inch dagger claws on the bottom of each foot. When using this lethal tool, ostriches can kick with a force twice the bite of a lion. This is what makes the ostrich underrated in terms of danger. The ostrich isn't the only animal that should not be underestimated. The hippo is a menace on the Serengeti and should be feared more than almost every other animal. While it is a herbivore, the hippo is highly territorial, attacking any any animal that dares get near. The only animal the hippo even tolerates is the crocodile, but it's a shaky relationship at best. The hippo is a far cry from other mammals. It's the largest river mammal and uses the water to its full advantage. The hippo's mouth is its biggest tool with two intimidating front teeth. The hippo is also as bulky as any other animal, weighing almost two tons. However, once out of the water, the hippo is most vulnerable. Therefore, it chooses to do so only at night and just in search of food. The hippo's river roommate, the crocodile, is another example of the extreme animals that live on the Serengeti. The crocodile has the strongest bite of any animal and uses this tool tactically. Unlike the hippo, the crocodile is a carnivore and will eat almost any easy meal. In fact, the crocodile will eat the same fish that cleans the hippo's teeth. While hunting, the crocodile will wait underneath the water, submerged just enough for its nose to be out of the water. 
and then without warning, snap up and capture its prey in one bite. The crocodile doesn't discriminate and plays the role of villain, killing the most important animal in the Serengeti. The wildebeest is by far the most important animal in the Serengeti. Considered a keystone species, something not common for herbivores, the wildebeest tames the ever-growing grasses of the Serengeti, keeping the rest of the vegetation safe from wildfires. However, like most things on the Serengeti, this role is in all sunshine and rainbows. The wildebeest is also a food source for many animals, an equally yet sacrificial role. Wild dogs, leopards, cheetahs, and lions all prey on the weakest links. Crocodiles also take strongholds in the rivers these animals inevitably need to cross. These river crossings are a part of one of the most spectacular miracles of nature. The Great Serengeti Migration is the largest mammal migration on Earth and is unrivaled by anything else. It is the greatest spectacle of wildlife and animal behavior. Over a million wildebeest make the circular trek across the Serengeti each year, following the rains. Joining them are zebras, gazelles, and other hoofed mammals. While more animals seems like more competition, each eats its own part of the vegetation, one of the few peaceful harmonies on the Serengeti. Yet this great spectacle can't be ignored by predators who are ever watching, looking for an opportunity to attack. It is this migration that defines the Serengeti and what makes it one of the greatest habitats on Earth. Danger, power, speed, and strength all coming together to make something truly remarkable. Yet, even without predators, everything still isn't well on the Serengeti. Rapidly expanding humans have taken away this majestic landscape, constraining the wildlife greatly. Poaching is also a huge issue with many people trying to hunt down the majestic animals that call the Serengeti home. So what can be done to save the Serengeti? Supporting conservation efforts in the Serengeti and visiting facilities in or outside of the Serengeti with these animals can go a long way. 